Hello everyone, Amod here from the Target Cognitive Channel and this will be continuation of understanding OS 2.0 authorization flow for Google API. So in the last video, I have explained how can we send an email using Gmail API without any attachment. So in this video, we are going to learn the next part. That means we are going to send an email using the Gmail APIs with attachment. So if, if you see the documentation here, which is responsible to send an email here it is giving two apis or two endpoints first one if you want to send the mail with the attachment and second one only for the text mail so this part we have already seen so there's no different instruction they have given here if you see like for both the apis it is giving the same request body inside this message you will have some json request right already i have explained this in my previous videos and also i explained like what are the difficulties i faced and then how i try to find the solution of it so if you see this documentation you will not find much details how can we send a file as an attachment further what i did i went to guides again i just try to see like what uh, in the client library okay for the java or javascript or other programming languages i just wanted to explore how they are giving some demo code so here inside the create and send mail we have something called upload attachment if you come down and try to read these things you will see like we can attach the file in the mail or that is nothing but like uploading uploading a file to the mail we have three approaches like simple upload multi-part upload and resumable upload and if you have watched my complete playlist then you must have heard of these terms already in google drive when i was explaining how can we upload a file in google drive so it is same thing here if you want to send any mail with the attachment, you need to use the simple multi-part or resumable upload. So I will suggest you to read this documentation and you can see that if you want to do the simple upload, then you need to pass the upload type as media. If you see that documentation here, it is giving that this is, should be a post call and give this should be the endpoint. After that, you need to pass the content type as message slash RFC 822. This is different from 2822. Then it is saying that you need to pass the email message data. So here it is not clear like how can you pass the file. So let me create a request in my postman. So let me copy this endpoint and this will be my post call. Let me copy the authorization token. Now the crucial part comes, how can we upload the file? If you remember in the Google Drive, so we were trying to upload the file through binary. So let me try that one. Let me go to binary and select the file. I have, select, I have selected the file. Let me click on send. So it is giving some error like image slash PNG is not supported. What we need to do then? We need to upload the file, right? Then only the mail will be sent. You need to understand here, I have not provided any details like uh, to send a mail without any attachment we are passing something to from and subject right and then we convert it to base 64 url and the same thing we pass as a raw that's why then only the mail was sent but when i am trying to send an email with the attachment here i don't have any place to pass these details okay you cannot set multiple body types here right you need to pass only one so obviously binary will not work so as of now you must have understood that we need to pass the basic details like to from and subject and file together so for that what to do we need to go to raw and here we need to pass the all those details so we are going to pass the multiple details actually multiple content type one content type will be simply like where we need to pass the from to and subject another content type will hold the data so for that we have some format and this format you cannot get it easily from the official documentation here but you can get some idea here. You can see like here they are passing one content type. Okay, this is for application slash JSON and this is for metadata. If you want to pass the metadata with the attachment, then they are passing the another content type where you need to pass the file details. So let me make it little simple for you. So let me copy the first part here. So here, see I am starting with the content type is multi-part mix because we are passing the multiple things right so when you have multi-part right multi-part means when you are passing the request body in chunks right we need to pass multiple things here so that's why using the multi-part select mix and we need to use something called boundary you can give any name here so this boundary means when you are passing the different contents right so you need to give the separation okay i will show you that how it will work so this will be optional you can do and then i am defining like two from and subject right so what i'm going to do i'm i'm going to just uh, update this details 
so this part is very obvious right here i am just passing these three details like two from a subject and this will be the simple text so unlike the previous video where i converted this in to base 64 url this time we are not going to convert that so this will be my first part then we need to pass the second part right second part in which i need to pass the file so for that you need to use the boundary okay this will be like this will be the boundary of this and before boundary you need to pass the two hyphens and this will be the one content type one part then let me copy the second part in the second part i am trying to upload a png file so i am passing the content type as application slash png mime version is 1.0 you this is option you can remove this one also and then here actually here i don't have any option to upload the file or attach the file so what i need to do i need to convert my file to base 64 and that then i need to send in the request so for that what you can do simply google search will work simply type file to base 64 you can use any link here and you select the file so let me select the file which i want to upload and let me click on encode file to base 64 remember this is base 64 not base 64 url so let me copy and come here and simply paste it okay so what i did I am adding another content here where I need to pass the content type. So you need to make sure that whatever type of file you are going to upload, so give the proper MIME type here. Then this is version that will be optional. Then you need to see that how you are passing the file. So content transfer encoding is base64. You need to pass the content disposition as attachment. Then you need to work and then you need to give the file name. You can give any name. And after this, I am not going to pass any further content. So what I need to do, I need to use this boundary to close the part. So to give the final closure, we need to use the again two hyphens at the last. Now we are all set here, hit the request. So it is giving me bad request because what I did here, if you go to my content type, I have not passed any content type here. So content type should be message slash RFC 822 and let me hit it again okay so i have not changed the user id here so let me use the me and let me hit it again okay so this time i can see that mail is sent and if i go to my gmail and if i go to my sent items so this is the latest sent email and if you come here you can see that subject whatever we mentioned it is coming here and it is attaching the file as well it is showing the correct preview as well so let me open the gmail account where the file was where the mail was actually sent so this is the email where mail was triggered so if i come here it is saying that new and if i open this one i can see that it is showing with the attachment so here if you notice that it is giving the attachment but in the request i am sending one text also means it should send an email with some text and attachment so actually what i did a mistake here when you are passing this details right so this will be considered as another part another content so for this i need to pass the boundary thing here so let copy from here and let me paste it okay so now we have total three content first content second content and then third content let me hit the send button and let's see this time it should send the email with the attachment and the text but it is giving me unauthorized so let me generate the access token again So this time I am getting 200 OK and let me see in the sent items if I am getting the text, as text or not. So here it is and here I can see this is the text which I provided in the request and this is giving the attachment also. And let me show you the target email or recipient email and if I go to inbox I should see another email here and it should show me the attachment as well as text so okay here it is and you can see that this is giving me attachment and the text so this is the way we can send an email with the attachment 
using the Gmail API. But this is really not simple. They have not provided the good documentation. You need to explore a lot. So that's why I tried to make a detailed video on this. But still, if you have any doubt, please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. Thank you everyone.